Well, Adrian Klasser, editor of This Is Africa, the Financial Times, joins me now in the studio. Uh, just on that last point of Menangagwa and what kind of a leader he might be if he takes over, um, do you think that is going to be one of the changes, the kind of engaging with the West that Mugabe didn't for, for years and years and blamed the West for, for the economic troubles that uh, Zimbabwe was in? I mean, many of uh, Zimbabwe's economic troubles were self-inflicted by the Mugabe regime in terms of some of the decisions they made about kicking out white settlers in the year 2000. Um, I would imagine that Menangagwa, given that he currently has goodwill um, from the international community, will seek to re-engage. Um, but time will tell. Uh, what about the, the role of the army here in bringing about this uh, transition? It's interesting. What, what do you think was the tipping point for them to, to, to no longer support Mugabe and to instigate this train of events which has led to his resignation? Well, it was clearly um, Mugabe's decision, or former President Mugabe's decision, sounds funny to say, um, to remove uh, Mr. Menangagwa as his vice president, um, which took place last week. Um, the head of the armed services, um, General Chiwenga, is a very close um, ally of Mr. Menangagwa's. And when that decision came about and this seeming uh, pushing ahead of his wife, Grace Mugabe, into a position for su succession, that clearly um, was the tipping point for everyone. Uh, and one of the issues that people had mentioned was that the Mugabe's wealth and their kind of reach and their power in, in the country, just people had just got really fed up with the scale of it. Uh, what do you think is going to happen to the Mugabe's now and all that, those assets? Again, it's difficult to tell. I would imagine that part of um, uh, President Mugabe, or former President Mugabe's um, tactics in delaying his re resignation, which people actually expected to take place after Zanu PF kicked him out as the leader of the party two days ago, was negotiate, negotiating some sort of exit package. Um, we don't know the details of that yet. Um, Grace Mugabe has, according to some rumors, left the country. Um, who knows what kind of assets she may have taken with her, if that proves to be true. Um, but um, I would imagine as part of some of that ex exit package, Mugabe has organized to take something with him. Um, but I'm sure that a new government will fight to have some of that uh, wealth repatriated. And how quickly do you think we'll see a new le leadership in position? There was talk of um, Nangagwa being in position within 48 hours. Um, is that likely to be? I mean, there's a power vacuum right now, um, and nature hates a vacuum, so I would imagine that they're going to want somebody in place very quickly. Also, if um, the military wants to maintain its credibility in claiming continuously that this is not a coup, they will need to have um, somebody in place who can represent civilian leadership um, very quickly. Um, so I would imagine that if they are going to maintain that line, that could happen very likely in the next 48 hours. Adrian Kleisner from uh, the Financial Times. Thank you very much, Steve, for coming you. in. Thank you.